Good morning and blessings to everybody as we gather today. Uh, today is uh, one of our feasts. It is the feast of uh, St. Simon and St. Jude Apostles. Uh, so today we'll be uh, commemorating and remembering them and also as, as we uh, pray uh, to our Lord. Uh, let's begin. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will declare your praise. Make haste, O God, to deliver me. Make haste to help me, O Lord. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. St. Simon and St. Jude Apostles. In the list of the Twelve Apostles, the tenth and eleventh places are occupied by Simon the Zealot, or the Cananean, and by Jude, or Judas, not Iscariot, but of James, who was apparently also known as Thaddeus. According to early Christian tradition, Simon and Jude journeyed together as missionaries to Persia, where they were martyred. It is likely for this reason, at least in part, that these two apostles are commemorated on the same day. Simon is not mentioned in the New Testament apart from the list of the twelve apostles. Thus he is remembered and honored for the sake of his office, and thereby stands before us in eternity, as in his life and ministry on earth, in the name instead of Christ Jesus our Lord. We give thanks to God for calling and sending Simon along with Jude and all the, of the apostles, to preach and teach the Holy Gospel, to proclaim repentance and forgiveness, and to baptize in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Jude appears in John's Gospel, on the night of our Lord's betrayal, and the beginning of his passion, asking Jesus how it is that he will manifest himself to the disciples, but not to the world. The answer that Jesus gives to this question is a pertinent emphasis for, the emphasis for this festival day. If anyone loves me, he will keep my word, and my Father will love him, and we will come to him and make our home with him. Surely both Jude and Simon exemplified in life and death their love for Jesus and their faith in his word. Not only are we thus strengthened in our Christian faith and life by their example, but above all, we are encouraged by the faithfulness of the Lord in keeping his promise to them to bring them home to himself in heaven. And therefore they live with him forever, where we shall someday join them. <clears throat> Psalm 43. Vindicate me, O God, and defend my cause against an ungodly people. From the deceitful and unjust man deliver me. For you are the God in whom I take refuge. Why have you rejected me? Why do I go about mourning because of the oppression of the enemy? Send out your light and your truth. Let them lead me. Let them bring me to your holy hill and to your dwelling. Then I will go to the altar of God, the God my exceeding joy, and I will praise you with the lyre, O God, my God. Why are you cast down, O my soul? And why are you in turmoil within me? Open God, for I shall again praise him, my salvation and my God. A reading from the Gospel of John, the 15th chapter. Jesus said, This is my commandment, that you love one another as I have loved you. Greater love has no one than this, that someone lays down his life for his friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. No longer do I call you servants, for the servant does not know what his master is doing. But I have called you friends. For all that I have heard from my Father I have made known to you. You did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you that you should go and bear fruit, and that your fruit should abide, so that whatever you ask the Father in my name, he may give it to you. These things I command you so that you will love one another. If the world hates you, know that it hated me before it hated you. 
If you were of the world, the world would love you as its own. But because you are not of the world, but I chose you out of the world, therefore the world hates you. Remember the word that I said to you, a servant is not greater than his master. If they persecuted me, they will also persecute you. If they kept my word, they will keep you, also keep yours. But all these things they will do to you on account of my name, because they do not know him who sent me. Have mercy. 
O Lord, have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Hear my prayer, O Lord. Let my cry come to you. In the day of my trouble I call upon you, for you answer me. Hide your face from my sins and blot out all my iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from your presence, and take not your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation, and uphold me with a willing spirit. Because your steadfast love is better than life, my lips will praise you. For you have been my help, and in the shadow of your wings I will sing for joy. Teach me your way, O Lord, that I may walk in your truth. Unite my heart to fear your name. I give thanks to you, O Lord my God, with my whole heart. And I will glorify your name forever. May all who seek you rejoice and be glad in you. May those who love your salvation say evermore, God is great. Save your people and bless your heritage. Be their shepherd and carry them forever. Give ear, O Lord, to my prayer. Listen to my plea for grace. Almighty God, you chose your servants, Simon and Jude, to be numbered among the glorious company of the apostles. As they were faithful and zealous in their mission, so may we, with ardent devotion, make known the love and mercy of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. O Lord, you are the great physician of soul and body. You chasten and you heal. Show mercy to your servants. Spare their lives and restore their strength. Even as you gave your Son to bear our infirmities and sicknesses, Deal compassionately with your servants and bless them with your healing power. We commit them to your gracious mercy and protection through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. I thank you, my Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ your dear Son, that you have kept me this night from all harm and danger, and I pray that you would keep me this day also from sin and every evil, that all my doings in life may please you, for into your hands I commend myself, my body and soul, and all things. Let your holy angel be with me, that the evil foe may have no power over me. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord bless us, defend us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.